The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Sal, and at a combined weight of 527 pounds, Lightning and Matt E are the good guys. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. And his partner, from the edge of reality, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Jester. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. Just knee. Oh, tag made. Ah, oh, perfect kick. Just insulting. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Harsh impact. Beautiful technique. Boom! 
<laughs> Looks like he's starting to falter. You can bet this is not how he drew this one up. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. Hey, while he might not want to hear it now, sometimes there are positives you can take from a beating like this. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oof. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. He's making a statement here with this attack. You gotta believe this one's over. He's starting to stagger a bit. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Back now inside the ring. Oh, and a snap there! That'll give you whiplash. He's looking at it. Face buster. I'm not sure how much he has left. Did you guys feel that too? He's struggling a bit. Man. Uh-oh. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Oh, look at Nailed it. Is it enough to end this match? Jeez, my neck hurts after that. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget it. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Clothesline! Right in the back of the neck. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Oh, oh what impact! That's what he was looking for, Michael. A trip to the look. He goes for the cover. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Leg drop! In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their... Cover here. One. He stops the count. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalia and Carmella. The rivalry became beautiful technique. Can he finish the job? 
Nice. Shut it down. Did you see the impact? What a move. When this guy's on, look out. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella... Oh, look at this. He might have it. Harsh impact, but he's got to capitalize now. Jarring impact. Oh, man, what a leg drop. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have... But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. He's got the shoulders down. Two! Byron earlier, he raised the point. That what an incredible tag team contest. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Man, oh man, look at that. Oh, I can't believe this. Check this out. And this is how he ended it. Here are your winners, Eddie Brock and The Jester. That's it for this tag team match, and what a thrilling match it was. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted 